Hi everyone and welcome to Perima's Kitchen. I am Selena and today I'm making Palak Paneer. It's such an awesome vegetarian dish that you will absolutely enjoy. It's nutritious, it's delicious. You can enjoy it with a big salad, with basmati rice, with roti, with naan, with chapatis. Let's get to it. I've added a tablespoon of oil to my pot together with a heaped teaspoon of crushed garlic. We want our garlic to sizzle in that oil before we start adding our spinach. Remember to remove the stalks from your spinach and then soak it in some cold water with a little bit of fine salt. You then can rinse off and add it to your pot. And today I'm using approximately 350 grams of spinach. Remember, it's going to wilt down after about five to 10 minutes. It's reduced perfectly. And I'm now going to transfer all of my spinach into a bowl. Once I've transferred everything to the bowl, I basically just want it to cool down before I start blending. I prefer to use this method um, rather than blanching it. I feel that all these nutrients that we have, all this water can be added as opposed to when blanching, you are then throwing away all of the water. So once you've added all the juices, set it aside to cool down. To my pot, I'm adding two tablespoons of oil, followed by one diced onion and three green chilies. Saute your onions in the oil and once it's slightly translucent, we can then proceed to add the rest of our spices and we are not adding a lot of spices. First, a heaped teaspoon of crushed ginger and garlic, followed by half a teaspoon of coriander powder, that's our danya, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, that's our jeera, half a teaspoon of turmeric, followed by half a teaspoon of garam masala. I'm also adding a quarter teaspoon of ilachi powder, that's our cardamom. Mix it on a low heat, and then we can proceed to add tomatoes. I'm using two diced tomatoes. My suggestion is either take off the skins, or liquidize, or grate them. We're gonna close our lid, and let it simmer on a low heat while we start our blending. Next, I'm adding all of my spinach together with that beautiful crushed garlic into my blending cup. It has slightly cooled down. Remember as a precautionary measure not to add anything hot to your blending cup. Once you've added all your spinach, don't forget the rest of those juices as well. And depending on how spicy you'd like it, I'm adding one chili as well. Once blended, we can leave it aside for a few minutes while we are frying our paneer. Add a tablespoon of oil to your pan. Once the oil is hot, add your paneer. And then you can fry on a medium heat until it's slightly brown. So make sure you keep turning them over so they brown evenly on all sides. And once they are golden brown in color. You can then add some butter 
And if you want a very buttery paneer, you can add more than a teaspoon. Today, I'm just adding half a teaspoon. Give it a couple minutes to sizzle in the butter as well. So it absorbs all of that butter flavor. And then we can set it aside. Coming back to our pot. We are now going to add our blended spinach. Make sure to rinse that blending cup with some water. Add some water in it and empty everything into your pot as well. Make sure that your heat is on low. We're going to simmer it for a few minutes on a very low heat. And then you can add a drizzle of pouring cream. This is approximately a tablespoon and a half of pouring cream. Not a lot. Mix it into your spinach. Again, keeping your heat on low. Mix it thoroughly. And now we can add all of our fried paneer. Can now switch off there's enough heat in the pot drizzle some pouring cream when you serve as well as garnish with some fresh coriander and there you go palak paneer mouth-watering delicious flavorful are only a few words to describe this heartwarming meal. I really enjoyed it. The kids whacked it. I was surprised that they loved it so much. As usual, all the ingredients used will be found in the drop down description below. Please subscribe. Kindly hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new video is uploaded. Please like and share and I'm enjoying the comments so much. Thank you so much to everyone for commenting. I sincerely appreciate it. Lots of love from myself, Selena and Perima's Kitchen.